Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your October general and love reading for Virgo. So let's see what's going on for you guys for October. What's going on for Virgo? I hope everybody's doing well. Let's see what's going on. Thank you so much for being there and subscribing to my channel and liking and sharing the videos if they resonate with you. Keep in mind that this is for a collective of Virgo, so it may or may not resonate with all of you. And, you know, there might be one or two messages in there for you. Maybe not the whole thing. You'll see. I do get several messages in one reading sometimes. All right, let's see what's going on. For Virgo, October, we've got the higher font. Okay. This one came out in the French video as well for you guys for October. So really listening and following your intuition. Ace of Pentacles, your energy here, Virgo, wanting to start something new. Maybe a new project, a new relationship here is starting. We've got the Three of Pentacles, so more of your energy here, Pentacles energy. Um, this uh, could lead me to believe it is also could also be about work. So working in a team, working with partners, and it's going well. There's good teamwork here. You may be getting a new, you may have gotten or may be getting a new job and you're working with different people and you're really getting along with these people. Great partners to have um, that you can really build and, and really go far with these people. This could also be a new relationship um, with someone who's very stable financially, who likes to be financially stable and you're able to build with this person a new life. We've got the Seven of Swords. Huh. Well, this is mind-boggling. Seven of Swords. It's like deceit. Just like trickery or something's going on behind the scenes here that either you're doing that, you're deceiving somebody, or somebody's deceiving you behind the scenes. Could be at work. I wonder, hmm. Or maybe you're just, you were disappointed at your old job here. But there is some kind of a deceit here, which is odd. Coming out after these cards. Let's see. Let's see what other kind of messages, oh, that we get for Virgo. Hmm. What else do we have for Virgo for October? Um, so yeah, deceit or trickery or something happening behind the scenes here without you knowing or you're doing something behind the scenes without someone knowing. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. Somebody's doing something behind someone's back. Some kind of trickery. And, you know, there is a stability there in your life but there's also some kind of backstabbing or something okay let's see what else is going on we've got the eight of stencils so work 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 virgo that's what you do you're very, you're workaholics, Virgo, and this is in all areas of your life, making sure everybody's taken care of, making sure the work is done really, really well. Not just well, really, really well. <laughs> that's, that's Virgo energy right there. Oh, yes. And we've got the Ace of Buckets. So we have the Ace of Wands, a new passionate beginning with someone. Look at this beautiful love card right here what is going on with you virgo you've got there's love pouring out of either your heart or this person's heart or you have a thing for somebody 
You're, you have the hearts for someone here, Virgo. Ace of buckets. You want this new beginning, new passionate beginning with, with someone you feel very passionate about. Feeling very passionate. We have the seven of cups, so dreams be coming true. There's just dreams coming true for you, Virgo. Finally, or maybe not finally, but yeah. Dreams coming true. You're making your dreams come true. Here, there was some trickery in the past. Either someone here tried to pull the wool over your eyes or you were trying to pull the wool over someone's eyes, maybe about your feelings. You weren't really expressing your feelings. And we have, yeah, this could be feelings that are not expressed right here, okay? And here we have the Three of Cups, which is the celebration. Honestly, honestly, this union that you have right here, okay, of maybe you did keep your feelings to yourself a little bit more, and so that's what was hidden. Um, but honestly, this relationship or this new beginning is going to be celebrated. It's going to be celebrated by you by other people, by you and friends, it's going to be celebrated. It's not an unhappy union, for sure. It's not unhappy. Okay? You are going to celebrate this in your heart. <laughs> You're going to be so grateful for this. Because there's a lot of stability. There's a promise of passion. There's a promise of give and take, of building, of teamwork. There's all kinds of energy. It's divinely guided, so it's, it's happening. It's going to happen. It's happening right now for some. Okay, let's see two cards from this deck right here. For Virgo, we've got the full new beginning. Hello, repeating, repeating. Okay, the full is a new beginning. Promise of a new beginning, beautiful new beginning, and followed by the Ten of Earth. So, so much stability, you guys. Not to worry about any finances or anything around stability. Like, so stable. Such a great new beginning. Nothing to worry about at all. And you can express your feelings. Feel free. Feel free to express your feelings. It will be very well received. Yes. Well, you know, please don't yell at me if you say something. You need to follow your intuition, okay? Don't just run after people on the street and tell them that you love them. <laughs> okay. Anyway, you get my drift. Let's see here. One last oracle message to see the overall energy for Virgo for October. Oh, and here we have to be fair, which is, it's so you, Virgo, to be fair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's your personality. It's in your, you know, it's in your genes to be fair and to be balanced. It is the month of the Libra, so balance here. But you guys also like to be balanced and stable, and you like to, for things to be, uh, you know, pretty kosher there in your surroundings, right? So Virgo, those are all the messages for you for October. I hope some of them resonated or all of them. It would be nice to know. And uh, that's it. Thanks a lot again for being there and I'll be back soon with another reading. Take care. Bye-bye.